welcome to this week's Thursday's Thoughts and Inspirations. You'll notice that we're dropping the hump day due to the misinterpretation of it. There's a shocker. Yeah, we realized when we were looking up some of the tags, uh, what was bringing people to our channel and we're like, oh no, we don't want that. So we've done a little bit of a change to the name. No biggie. So for this week's thoughts and inspirations, we've been asked to speak about our thoughts on downsizing, um, from selling a home to, to living in Gertie, basically full time. For us, we've been living smaller for many years of our marriage. Um, most of the homes that we've owned have been a thousand square feet or even less. Um, most of them bungalows as well. One of the inspirations we found very helpful with downsizing was that TV show, was it on Netflix? Yes, Netflix. Marie Kondo. We actually had a ball walking around the house, picking up things and saying to ourselves, does this bring us joy? And if it didn't, it went to the side. You know, so lots of good point of tips we learned from Marie's show. I highly recommend you give that a watch. And plus it's a, uh... It, it was actually good fun doing it as well. I was pretty big on telling her things that, of her stuff that didn't bring me joy and that she should get rid of them. <laughs> yeah. One challenge we did uh, in the early beginnings, we played the uh, minimalist or 30 day challenge game. So what that uh, involved was on day one, going through your house, going through your things and picking out one thing to get rid of. First day, first day was really easy. That's right, because we were each getting, we were each gonna get, get rid of thirty things each. each. So yeah. Jamie picked one thing, I picked one thing. We put it out for goodwill to give away, whichever it was we were deciding. Day two, pick two things. Day three, three things, so on and so forth, till you're at the end of trying to get rid of thirty things. First, first week was pretty easy, but wow, that last week trying to scramble for things to find paper clip maybe coaster <laughs> yeah it, it got pretty trivial at the end yeah but it was good because it kind of let you know like do i really need to have all these things do i really need to be keeping all these things yeah so uh try that Make sure to do your research for the larger items or items which may have some value to it. For instance, we've been hanging on to our boys 20 year old BMX bikes. Clean them up, put some air in the tires, did some research on Google to see if there was any value to them and found out they did have some value. So we listed them in the marketplace groups, had them at the garage sale and within an hour we had 10 plus inquiries on the bikes. So my question to everybody out there is, who do you think had more attachment to things? I'm gonna let you guys think about that and maybe leave your comments below and we'll see who's right. We'll see. I'm not gonna tell. Me neither. help that we were also storing a lot of our boys items in our garage so what we did a few times we had uh, family decluttering days where we had them come up and help us get rid of stuff get your crap out of our garage basically <laughs> but don't tell them so <laughs> one of us meaning Jamie or I after the boys would leave we would sometimes go through their pile and bring a few things back into the house because we weren't ready to get rid of them. We, we weren't, weren't ready, ready to get, get rid, rid of them? them. Okay, yeah. let's go with that. <laughs> started the decluttering process we put everything into three piles first pile was donate second pile was sell and third pile was kick it to the curb so the piles the pile of stuff that we wanted to sell we listed it on our uh, Facebook marketplace groups and other you know resale groups within the local community 
we had so much success with that. It was unbelievable. Uh, and the other thing we did, uh, we ended up having a garage sale over uh, one weekend. We were also blessed with selling a good number of our furniture pieces to the person who purchased our home, as well as quite a few of the family members and neighbors that needed uh, extra furnishings and stuff. They also uh, purchased stuff from us, so that worked out. So you ask, what have we done with everything that we've kept? Well, we rented a 10 by 10 heated storage unit, which was only 10 minutes away from the house. And what we were able to do was make little trips up there in Gertie with all the boxes. We probably did a dozen trips up there, but it didn't seem like a big deal. And plus, we saved money on movers, which was even better. We didn't have to rent a truck because we yep, had Gertie, we so it all worked out in our favor. Yeah, and we managed to get everything in the 10x10. 10 10. Um, extra space. We, yeah, we even had extra space, but somehow our boys managed to fill up that extra space with their extra set of tires for their car. So, you know, that's where tires are stored, apparently, at mom and dad's. <laughs> that's right. That's what Honesty, it was not an easy task. It was very daunting at times. There was a lot of things that went from one pile to the other. We had good days, we had bad days, but the main thing is we we were looking at the bigger picture. Can't focus. Um, keep focused. Um, stay on track. Because um, there's a lot of attachment that we had. Um, to certain things. We had different reasons to keep certain things and we had to understand the other person's um, motive for that and thought process for that. So, I Compromise. mean, compromises because what was what I wanted to keep might not have been what she wanted to keep and vice versa. So we all have our little things that we wanted to hang on to, which is fine. But in the long run, it was well worth it. At the end of it all, we actually are feeling much uh, lighter. You know, that uh, overwhelming feeling is gone. Uh, the attachment to things, a little bit still, but uh, overall, very freeing. Yeah. You know, they say you'll feel much lighter. Are you feeling lighter? I feel so much lighter now. <laughs> Gotta suck that beer belly in. <laughs> yeah, so overall, it's, it's, it's a great, great feeling. I highly recommend it. Give it a try. You've got nothing to lose. Thank you for joining us again this week for Thoughts and Inspirations. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And if, don't forget. Oh, yeah, sorry. And don't forget if you think you know who has a biggest attachment to things, let us know. I'm going to be curious to see who it is. Also, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And uh, we love for you to share with others as well. Have a good week. Cheers. Bye-bye.